So in this video today, I'm going to show you how to graph and connect ordered pairs. So as you see, you have your blank coordinate plane here. You've got your x-axis and your y-axis. Um, down here, you've got your different points or the shape that you're going to be creating. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the first point, which is negative 4, 6. I'm going to start at my origin and just graph like normal. So I go negative 4 up to 6 and graph my point. What I want you to do is I want you to do exactly the same with me on your paper as I'm doing now. Okay, so I did my negative 4, 6. I'm going to cross it out. The next point I'm going to graph is 2, 6. So again, I'm going to start at my origin, go to 2, up to 6. And now that I graphed my next point, I'm going to take the 2 and I'm going to connect them. Okay, so I finished that point. Then I'm going to move to 2, 5. Okay, you still with me? So I'm going to go over to 2, up to 5, graph it. Now my previous point was 2, 6. So I'm not going to go back to the original point. I'm going to go to the point I just did. And I'm going to connect those. Then I have negative 3, 5. So I'm going to graph that point, negative 3, up to 5. Again, I'm going to go back to the point I just graphed, and I'm going to connect it. So it's kind of like a connect the dots. Okay. Next is negative 3, 2. Okay. You should be doing this along with me. Negative 3 to 2. Connect the points. Notice how I'm crossing them out as I go. 1, 2, 1, 2. Go back to the point. Connect it. Cross out. See the step? So I'm going to circle my next point, which is 1, 1. Find my next point, which is 1, up 1. And then if you forget, you can always go back to the point you just crossed out. My previous point was 1, 2. So I know that was this one. That's why I'm going to connect those two. Okay? You always go from the point you just previously did. Okay? Then once you get to the end of the line, you're going to go to the bottom point, the next line. Start at the next line, which is negative 3, 1. Start at my origin. Negative 3, 1. Connect the points. Okay? Negative 3. Oh, I forgot to cross it out. Next one is negative 3, negative 2, negative 3, negative 2. Connect the points and then cross it out. So you know to go to the next point, just 2, negative 2. Okay, over to 2, down to negative 2. Connect your points, cross it out. Next is 2, negative 3. So go, start my origin, over to 2 down to negative 3, connect your points, okay, stay with me here, negative 4, negative 3, negative 4, negative 3, connect your points, this looks like my last one, negative 4, 6, negative 4, 6. Now usually when you're graphing a shape, your last point is going to be the same thing as your first point. So here's negative 4, 6. Here's negative 4, 6. All that means is you take your point you just graphed and you connect it back to your first point and there's your shape. So as you can see, I created what looks like an E. That is, as you see, it says end of sequence. That just means that you ended your shape. Sometimes you might see something that says shape 1 or shape 2. That would just mean that your last point, you're going to connect back to your first point to finish the shape, okay? And then if you want, you can just lightly color it in. And there you have it. That's graphing and connecting ordered pairs.